No, absolutely. Well, you talk about know. the Young Boy stuff. I know people are are excited to hear about that. So, how did that all transpire? I really just hit one of his uh again one of the smaller people around him. I got access to like getting to talk to him and then fucking. Sent him some clothes. I just left, like, this was in Italy. Like, the whole time it was just transpiring. So I'm like, damn, like, I'm in Italy right now. Like, I'm talking to this man. Like, damn, what the fuck about to happen? Like, like a step up. It's like, yeah, it's like, I different was. Different like, chapter in life feels like, right? Yeah. And then shit, I was, I wasn't making like hella money to where I was like, shit, I'm about to just go back home, get a job, and like, just like keep doing the clothes, but make the money on the job to supply my what I'm trying to do. All right. So shit. Like I was just waiting on it, waiting on it. I'm still like selling clothes, do like little orders, but I do like half deposits. So it's like I'm making some little money, but it was cool and then shit three months later, shit. I'm I'm thinking it was gonna be like an instant. Like sometimes it'll happen like that. Like you get somebody them clothes and they literally like put it on the next time they get a chance to wear some shit. That shit was, like, September. He probably wore that shit. Well, I gave it to him, like, June. He wore that shit in September. Shit, I was in Charlotte chilling and literally about to go apply for a job the next day. And then my homie Boat called me. My homie Brandon was in the living room. And then I answered a phone call. And then shit, he just was like, bro, go look. Go look. You didn't see that on Instagram? I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? He's, bro, just posted on your shit. And then I guess he didn't have no other pictures on his page, too. So it was like, damn. That's what it was. It was his first picture back on Instagram, not his first time being out of jail. It was the first picture he posted on his regular Instagram page. That's why it was big to me. I'm like, damn, his first picture back on the gram. <laughs> yeah, yeah fresh from the crib. like. Yeah, bro. And then it was like, I was just not seeing it first felt better than me seeing it and then it being like, oh, shit, like. That was when I was like, oh, yeah, fuck the job. Like, I don't even, <laughs> I don't even got to try and do that for real now. I don't even want to ride past the job now. Literally, but then it was like, shit. Like, what changed for you brand-wise after that? Yeah, like, I had to take a realization, like, all this shit I just did in Atlanta, like, learn being under him. I wasn't really under him, but working with him and just, like. Taking notes. Yeah, like, now I got to put that into action, like. I got to do what he was doing now right. to get to where he had. Definitely. So like, now it's like, oh, now you got a clothing brand. Like, now people about to be trying to get your shit, like, bad. Like, yo, the man about to come. But then it really didn't come until it came. Like, I definitely checked some good money that shit, that first week. Mm -hmm. But then, like, that second one with the red jacket, that was when it was like, oh, shit, because... Not everybody wear yellow. Right. But that was an unreleased jacket. So that was, he was the first person to wear the jacket, like, ever. Yeah, he'd been in a different colors, like, <laughs> a few of your color jackets. It just ain't a one-time yeah. thing. It seemed like he putting that on every day. Yeah. And he I can't see. even go nowhere, so he just getting fresh <laughs> to stay in the house in <laughs> your shit. So I was like, Dang. Hey, man, that's a good feeling. You're going to put that on. I'm telling you. They know sure, everybody yeah. watching him, so of course they're looking at what he got going on and what he wearing, so. Man. Like, the, it was just, like, the the third or fourth time. It was really that purple jacket, too, that kind of, like, amped it up a little more. But the billboard one was the one where it was, like, oh, shit, like, that's hard. And then it was in the fucking magazine thing that they did. So it was, like, damn, like, my shit on billboard like this is a real national brand right <laughs> what was it like the day that drop like did your instagram traffic go up or you get a lot of followers or people Definitely. just dming you wanting jackets yeah just like, it was the same coincidence like i'm not seeing it first like somebody sent it to me off of they be making fake pages or i don't know if they be fake pages but they won't be having no followers so Little burner account yeah so they'll like dm and be like when is this jacket dropping i'm like what like what the fuck mm -hmm. And then I didn't see, like, the whole video and all that. Like, it was a little video to it. So I'm like, damn, bro, this man. Just love that shit. Like, I love, bro, for that shit. That shit be just bringing me more money. But, shit, it just make me want to keep sending him everything. Like, I right. don't even. And you get a source of motivation. It's like, you the biggest artist right now. And 
Man. Uh, everything you could be wearing, you wearing my brand, <laughs> so it's like I can do whatever. Yeah, literally, bro. For real. Like I don't be trying to take it like to the head though, like a lot of people would though. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't think a lot of people a lot of people would be like constantly promoting it, but it's like I don't promote the same thing over and over again. It's like he wearing mm-hmm. different things and right different like he times. promoting it for you at this point. Like Yeah. Yeah. Like sometimes I don't even be Dropping stuff, I will let him get it first to see what it brings. Like if he br- if he wear it in the right way to where people seeing it, like oh, it's gonna bring appeal to the jacket. The most expensive mannequin ever. Man, you for can't real. pay for that. I'm telling you, shit, <laughs> you can't pay for that right there, man. So we saw a sneak peek of a jacket, maybe a collab with Young Boy. Do you want to talk a little bit? I don't know how much you're able to talk about that. I know there's probably a lot of moving parts with that, but. Shit, I, what are you allowed to say about that? We got a lot coming. Yeah, it's more than the jackets, but right. shit, hopefully everything go how we wanted to go. Yeah. That's really like I guess the most I say about it. But right, shit, that's all. I I just pray it go through exactly how we wanted to. Absolutely, yeah, huge opportunity too. You know, just like. Like like you were saying, it's not just he wore one of your jackets one time, you know. Like yeah, it's been he's like he's really been kids, invested in your brand, so that's got to feel good. Definitely. And then like I'll even, I guess like now because it's like he keep wearing it, but I'll even try to put other people in position to like get a chance to get the same. Like that feeling is like unbeatable, bro. Like that's like Drake wearing your clothes, bro. Right. Like, <laughs> it's the equivalent to it. That's like a hood Drake wearing your clothes, bro. You cannot beat that, bro. Like, as big as you want other artists to be, bro. He top 10 right now. Like, <laughs> Are there any artists that haven't had your merch yet that you trying to get? Like, is yeah. it a little Baby or a Drake, like you said? Like, or? There'd be so many different people. Like, that's the crazy part. It's like, you got to make clothes and give it to certain people. Like, mm-hmm. like, I feel like everybody can't wear that jacket he'd be wearing. Right. So, like, if I would have gave it to Baby, there's it's no telling how he'll wear it, but there's definitely stuff I'd, I'd let to get my clothes to anybody. Like, anybody that can draw traction to mm-hmm. that shit. I, I love getting to, like, female influences, though, because I don't know, but I don't know if y'all feel like this, but dudes be buying more clothes off of girls wearing it. Yeah, crazy to believe it. And that's just basically with everything. Like even if they listen to music, they gonna listen to the music that the girls listening to. Especially yeah. with the rappers, so like the females really gonna. But yeah, like, anything you do, if you got, if you keeping them satisfied and happy, you are gonna be all right. Cause that's a solid fan base right there for real. Man, like them girls be doing it. Like this girl, uh, named Shama- Shamira. That was like when I first moved to Atlanta. Like that was one of the first like influences to hit me. I wasn't trying to get them like they hit me, so I'm like, shit, I'm sending you whatever, like, whatever, whatever. you need. So like, I sent her that brown hoodie that I first dropped, like when I did all that little dumb shit and I got that. Right. So that when when that happened, she brought me like more followers than Schoolie brought me. Like she brought me way more followers than Schoolie brought me, and it was like. She wore it multiple times, and it's like every time she wear it, it'd be like more people come, and they want that one specifically. So it's like I try to pick females who can dress, and that's the type of crowd that I want. Like you don't want – I don't know. Like I never did Instagram ads. So like all my following is like legit, authentic, so like organic. Yeah, I think ads sometimes water it down. You want want people to actually, you know, get there organically – 